We are at the uh, PDAC conference, 2025 PDAC conference, the Northern Miner in Toronto. And uh, interesting launch today, we had uh, the uh, British Columbia based Verify company launching its AI assisted mineral discovery platform. Well, it's a pleasure to introduce the founder, uh, Steve Young. Steve, thanks very much indeed for coming in, appreciate it. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Good doing or showing with the launch, and I believe it was a launch that was a little bit more ahead than I'd expected. What did you do today? So we announced the launch of the, the Dora platform, which a year ago we came out of PDAC and we said, mm. we're going to use AI and a team of the world's best geoscientists and data scientists to work with clients to build predictive models, machine learning driven predictive models of where minerals are going to occur. Mm. So over the last year, we have 30 clients that we do that with, but for the most part, we were doing a lot of that work ourselves and then showing them the results and then going back and forth. So imagine, imagine a chat GPT launch, but you had to phone someone to ask them a question. Whereas what we, what we launched yesterday was the Dora platform and that's taking that and putting it into the hands of the technical teams of the geologists. So they have the power of this tool to use it themselves. And yeah, it's been, we've been really excited. We have a few clients who've been testing it out over the last few months. It's been really exciting, just the response we've had from, from everybody and just to get it out there. I was going to ask you that, just given where we were with exploration, let's say a decade ago, and you fast forwarded to this platform, what's the response been from those who are using it? So I would say the response to, well, maybe we'll start with the response to AI in general yeah. is like cautious, it's like optimism, skepticism all put together, which I think is not just specific to mineral exploration. That's every in industry, every application is I think we all think there's applications for it. We're not quite sure. We're also not quite sure how kind of fluffy these, these solutions actually are. From the clients that have rolled up their sleeves and kind of got into it, it's been incredible. And one of the, one of the big reasons for that is, well, well, twofold. First, you're using every single piece of data across your entire project for every decision you make. Whereas historically, if you think of the industry 10 years ago, you might use uh, you might use an IP survey or a specific type of geochemical signature to really guide things. Here you can take hundreds of data sets and layers and put that all together, use all of that to decide whether or not this is a prospective area um, or not. That's the most exciting thing about it. But the other part to it is when you put it into the hands of the person that wants to use it, that's, it's through that iterative process and that relationship they build with it, that's where the real magic happens. And again, I think I'll, I'll use ChatGPT as an example and not to oversimplify what we do, but very seldom do you get the perfect answer the first time. It's, it's kind of you see the answer, you tweak it a little bit, you change your prompt, and over time, almost in this conversational manner, you end up with something that would have taken you otherwise maybe weeks to, to mm -hmm. come to a conclusion to. You partly, I, you partly answered my question, excuse me for interrupting, because I wanted to find out exactly how it works. But I understand there's a sort of an evolution of how you use it as well and getting used to it. it yeah, so it's a, it's a five step process. Once the data is in mm -hmm. and there's a ton of work that our technical team of geoscientists and geophysicists and geochemists, a lot of work they do to get the data into a format that you can train it on. I think there's a general oversimplification out there that you can just take industry data and throw it into an AI model and it works. So once that process is done, you go through, you choose which layers you want to train off of, you choose which one of our AI models you want to use. It might be an origin a gold model, it might be a VMS model, it might be a, a, the universal model that's been trained on everything. You, you choose the threshold. So if you're looking for copper, you might say, I want a prospective model of everything that's more than 0.1% copper. Everything Every assay, every piece of data I have is now looking for both. Everything that's below and everything that's above. Then you choose your area that we're going to search on. And then you click search. It takes We're a cloud-based system. It spins up a whole bunch of very powerful servers uh, off-site. And 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes later, you have the results of that. And, and that's an exercise that might have taken six months if you take kind of a more historical approach of going through that, that data set. It certainly does sound that it's bringing with it a certain degree of uh, speed and efficiency in the entire process. What else does it bring to the fraternity of mineral discovery? What's new in this? So I would say, um, I think the most important trait 
to have for any geoscientist that uses our platform is one of curiosity. Yeah. And I think if you look where real innovation has happened in any sector, it's really driven by kind of curiosity, often met with necessity. And when we think about where, how a geologist can get the most of it, or what is the, what is, what is the outcome of this exercise? It's the curious geo that can put in, say, here are the data layers I want to use. And then when we run our model and it says, this is a target, the output of that is, this is why it's a target. Here is, it's because I saw that these two random elements in the geochemistry showed up and they correlated with a low signature of this geophysical. And for a curious geo, they're gonna try and solve that. They're gonna look at that and say, well, how does that type of target fit in with my own understanding and my own kind of human intelligence, all the experience I have. And through that process, they're gonna realize that their understanding of the mineral system might change. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things that we've found is there's absolutely no removing humans from this process anytime soon. If anything, we're gonna need a lot more, mm -hmm. but it's going to be sort of the, the geoscientists and the industry experts that really embrace tools like this. That's where the real discoveries are gonna going happen which is not that different than how we do things today. We just don't have a tool that can process 100 years of data and kind of synthesize that down to say three elements that you should really pay attention to. If it brings in more people, and this is my final question, I would imagine that it could possibly potentially bring in more investment if used correctly. And, and you're starting to see it. So we just went through a, a financing. Um, I was in the, I, prior to Verify, ran a public mineral exploration company Raising capital for a private technology is a very, very different world. It's a different pool of capital. Um, we're seeing more and more examples of there's a lot of money, and I can say from firsthand experience, there's a lot of money, capital investors, generalist technology investors out there that are fascinated by minerals and by technology and, and specifically the intersection of those two things. You're starting to see, we saw it in our own Series B financing, there is so much interest for technologies like this. The next, the knock on is the companies that use technologies like this. I think that's the next step. So, so to your question, I'm a big believer that it's gonna be through a general, that the world seems to be waking up that the world needs minerals. Not everyone has always, I think, put that connection together. So the world is waking up to the fact that we need minerals. Where do they come from? So the investment community is starting to see that. I do think that technology is going to be the thing that unlocks that investment opportunity because what it does is it allows, say, a, your, your generalist investor, your technology investor, it allows them to look at the industry alongside some sort of catalyst for change. So if they can believe that AI is going to unlock the mineral potential um, and there's, they see the connection between kind of the mineral explorers and mining companies and the minerals that the world needs, maybe there's enough within that to become an investment thesis that they can actually invest in. And I think it's why it's actually a really exciting time for the sector because in general, you have commodity prices coming off their bottoms mm -hmm. and a lot, some of them like gold hitting all time highs. Yeah. And you have, um, I would say, a general investor out there that's starting to look for, for things like this. Yeah. No, well, we'll leave it there. It sounds very interesting indeed. Uh, the founder of Verify, Steve Zhong. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Yeah, thanks so much for having me.